Hi guys, today we're gonna do um, a bracelet chain to ring loom bracelet. So it looks like this. I'm gonna do a video because um, I've been trying to look this up and there's like only one video to show you how to do this. So I thought maybe I should do another video to show you how to do this. So this is a very amazing bracelet. So it's just um, a bracelet connected to a chain and then to a ring. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it looks. So this is supposed to look like this. Okay, so the thing is that we are not gonna be living a, using a loom. For this, um, for this video, we're only gonna need a hook. You can use this hook, which which should came with your loom, or you could use a plastic hook. Okay, whichever hook will work. Or even a little pencil will work. Something like this will work. So first, I gotta get my colors. Okay, so I'm gonna use these colors. For this part of the bracelet, or the bracelet, I'm gonna use this color, which is pink and white in one band. For the chain part, I'm gonna use this color, which is blue and pink in one little band. And for the ring part, I'm gonna use a a um, blue and um, yellow rubber band, which is in one. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. Now we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna first get our um, rubber band. I'm gonna. We're first gonna do the bracelet right, right here. Okay, so we're gonna get. Let's for our band, and we're gonna do a cap band. But we're gonna do the cap band on the pin. I mean, on the um, what's it called again? Oh, the hook. So you just put it on the hook, then twist it, and then put it on the hook again, and it should look like this. After doing that. We're gonna get another of your bracelet colors. You're gonna put it on the hook right there. And then get this, the cap in right here, and put it on the string right here. So just like this, I'm gonna show you. Then you have on that string. Now I'm gonna put this on the hook. You put this. I'm doing the instructions very careful. So for now, it look like this. It's okay if this is like going like stretching your eyes or things like that, but um, that's not gonna ruin anything. This should look like this. Okay. After doing that, we're gonna repeat this step again and again. My wrist is small, so I'm just gonna do this 21 more times. So we're just gonna get another band and put it into the hook. And then right here, we're gonna grab these two other bands that are hanging right there and then put it on the string. Like this. Just making a single chain bracelet. If you have ever done a single chain bracelet, you're gonna do it on the loom, but we're just gonna do a single chain bracelet on the hook. So we're gonna get another rubber band, put it on the hook like this, and then grab these two right here and put it on the rubber band right here and hook it on. It should look like this. So I have three. I'm gonna show you one more time how to do this. 
have a rubber band. And then you get these two right here that are hanging from here. And then you're going to put it on the hook. So it should look like this. By itself, it's all dingly, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to do that um, one more time. So I'm going to pause the video till you get to the length of your wrist right here. Okay, it's been less than five minutes, and now I'm done doing my bracelet right here. So after doing this, um, we're not going to need an S clip or anything like that. So we have the two right here. And remember our cap band we did right here? Um, the, these are the two sticking out right here. Or it should be like this. You're going to put it onto your hook. Like this. Okay, when you're done putting it into the hook right here, you're going to see it's forming a little bracelet. You're going to get another of your bands right here. And do it up close. Get a rubber band right here. And then put all your bands to the band, the band right here. And you just put it onto the hook. Now it should look like this. This is your bracelet already. Now we're just going to do the chain. So the chain is going to be this. You're only going to need if you have uh, you have your arm like this. If you have your hand like this, or have a similar hand like this, as long as this, then you only want to add 11 of the of these to the chain. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this color, <laughs> the same as this one, for the chain. Okay, so this is the uh, important part. So we just put through our band in our an hour hook right here like this and then these two that are right here and you're gonna get it and put it on the band it's like you were doing the single chain bracelet they do like this and now you're gonna put it on the hook again and I should look like this with a different band right here. Now we're gonna get another of our rubber bands right here. And then get these two and put it on the band right here. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same one we're doing for the for the bracelet thing. I'm gonna continue that until we get to eleven. So already I have one, two, three, four. I have four already. Now if you don't understand this part, you may rewind the video. And if you still don't understand, you might want to ask an adult. So we're going to do this until you get to 11 if you have a similar and longish hand like mine. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video. It's been three minutes and now I have my 11 right here to make my chain so after doing that we're gonna do the ring this ring it's gonna be really easy so if you have your um, your index finger this this fat then you're supposed to only use only 10 rubber bands you're only supposed to use 10 rubber bands for the loom bracelet. Maybe you think, oh, that's too much. But really, it's this little. Seriously, guys. Okay. So for this, for, uh, for the ring, I'm going to use this color. Okay, so we're just going to make the 
chain more longer. Okay? It's going to end up being a long string, but you're going to see. So right here, you're going to put another one. Put those two. And I do this. So you're just going to keep on going with the, with the, with the chain with 10 more, um, 10 more bands right here. Okay, so I have two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna do five more until I get to 10. So I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, it's been less than two minutes or one minute. This is really quick. You can do this very quick. Already done my 10. Now we are gonna finish our bracelet. Okay, so let me get my a C clip or S clip. I'm gonna use a S clip. Okay. So right here, you're gonna get these two. You're gonna get these two. And then you're just gonna hook them on. It may be a little confusing to do it. But you're only supposed, well, if you have, um, let me see. If you have a limb, then you can use this, but if you do have like two pencils and stretch it out from the two, like one here and here, you just stretch the band to the other one. But I'm gonna use the loom because I can't find anything. So right here, these two, just take it off the hook. Right here where your right arrow is, you're just gonna use your loom right here to do this, look. Just stretch it out from the middle pin to the right or to the left. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my S clip right here. So this is it, this just helps you to hook your S clip. So I'm just gonna hook it on and then make sure it's secure and then you can take it off of the both. Now you should have it like this. Okay. After that, we're gonna hook it on this one. You can choose wherever you wanna hook it, but I'm gonna use the last color, this, this, this band right here to hook it on. Okay. So the thing to do this, you gotta have patience because um, this might not come out at the first um, try. You just put the S clip through the middle and then just hook it. This may take some time. Like mine is not going in. I have to do it again. After doing this, it should look like this. Now you have your loom bracelet right here. I'm gonna show you how it looks on me. Okay. It should look like this. Just like this one. So, so, um, Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please give a like and um, please give a like, please. And yeah, uh, please visit my shop on Etsy. I always have things right there. Uh, so bye.